This is Paul Sacconi with Adobe coming to you from NAB 2023 in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're going to be talking to you today about some of the great new stuff in Premiere Pro and After Effects, as well as our AI initiatives. We've got great new features in Premiere Pro this year, one of which is text-based editing. It's powered by Adobe Sensei, so it's AI. It automatically generates a transcript when you ingest footage, and then literally creating a rough cut is just like copying and pasting text. You find the text in your transcript window, you can search for it, it recognizes multiple speakers, you copy and paste the lines together, and it builds a sequence for you in your timeline. It's really amazing. Text-based editing is going to be great for anybody doing interview work, documentaries, generally anything that's not scripted in which you're going to want to find lines and readings and cut something together. There are two parts to the automatic tone mapping. There's the tone mapping we do when you bring in footage of, say, something like an iPhone, which is hybrid log gamma encoded footage, where it just automatically makes it look great in your timeline in Premiere, so you don't have to add a lot or do any color correction. And then there's the automatic recognition of log footage from professional cameras like Sony S-Log or Canon or Panasonic. So again, very similar, instead of having to apply a LUT or do a color correction manually, we'll bring the footage in, we'll uh, bring it into a standard dynamic range space so that you can edit it and work with it and it's going to look great. So when you do the tone mapping, you of course get great looking images, but you still have access to all of the standard Lumetri color correction controls in Premiere. So you can edit and you can make adjustments and tweak it to exactly your liking. So we really focused this year with Premiere on performance and reliability. So you're going to see a lot of GPU acceleration for uh, a lot of different camera formats, which just makes everything faster. You can even edit 8K now in the timeline. We've added GPU acceleration for more filters and effects than ever. Mogurt performance is uh, nearly real time for a lot of Mogurts now. So really lots of performance and interactivity improvements. We've also done a lot of things that editors have asked for. For example, background auto save. So now your work is saved in the background without interrupting your creative flow. We've got better masking tools. You can zoom in further to do more precise masking. We let you batch edit captions and titles and graphics so that you don't have to change them one at a time. There's just lots of stuff like that that we think editors are going to love. So a lot of the features that we've been talking about today, specifically text-based editing, for example, are available in the public beta of Premiere, which you can download today. Um, they are going to be shipping in May, so we're just a few weeks away from having all of this out in market. We've had AI in Adobe products for about 10 years with Adobe Sensei. Recently, we introduced Adobe Firefly, which is generative AI. And it's a whole set of tools designed to let you create something basically from nothing. We've trained it on Adobe Stock, um, open, openly available content, public domain content, so that when we generate material for you, it's generally safe to use, or at least that's the design goal for us. Today, we introduced our vision for how Firefly, or generative AI, could be used for video. And it's really important to note that it's not our goal to replace the work that an editor does, but rather augment the workflows so that you spend less time doing the tedious and time-consuming stuff and more time doing the creative stuff that you love. So for example, text-based input to color a scene. You might be able to, at some point in the future, look at a shot and say, hey, I really wish that was shot at golden hour. So you just type in, make this shot look like it was taken at golden hour, and it'll color it for you, or say, brighten the face in this shot, and it'll identify the face and brighten it for you. But I think it goes beyond text-based color correction and, and just things like sky replacements. There's a lot of metadata stored with the camera files that you're shooting. There's also scripts which contain a tremendous amount of metadata in their text. And imagine what we could do with Adobe Firefly in our video applications if we tie all of that together. We could use Firefly to help generate pre-visualizations, storyboards, animatics. We can also use it to do rough cut string outs. So we know what an actor is saying in a clip. We know what the script says, where that scene and that line reading goes. Maybe we put it all together in a rough cut for you with multiple takes so that you can select the best line readings and then do a fine tune of your edit. So the possibilities with Firefly are endless. The goal is to really just enable you to be more creative than ever before.